Hey, sneaky looks back today. Today we're back with Descent OS 2.1. Yes, back again. Now I've done two videos on it already. Uh, one was quite a while ago when he was just starting out. Now he's got a bit of a following and people are liking it. For the simple reason, it's got GNOME 2, isn't it? Yes, GNOME 2. Some of you stuck in the muds, like all the rest of us, still like a GNOME 2, like so. Because it's so familiar to you all and you know what it's all about. Anyway, it's Spun 2 Debian based, as I said in the previous videos, so you should all get around it and be okay. You do get Pigeon, you do get Chromium as your web browser, no Fox, but you can get Firefox for it if you want to via Synaptic, okay? Synaptic, yes. Claws now to make it lighter, there's a direct link to the forums, Dropbox box is standard, Wibber and Transmission. For Office, it's full LibreOffice suite, as I said before, I got Writer, Calc, Impress, Base, Office and Math. Under graphics, you do get Gimpy, and you get shot well for your photos. That's nice. I do like Gimpy being installed. Excel, he's using for his music player. Now, that's one of the things I'm not too fond of personally. But hey, it does the job. But you can put Rhythmbox or Banshee, whatever you want on, in the end of the day. He's using PitTV for his video editing here. I would prefer OpenShot myself, although PitTV does do some stuff that OpenShot don't do. If you want to know what, let me know, and I will tell you about it. You also get a sound recorder and a VLC media player for all this stuff. Now, I'm not sure what version of VLC he's going to actually use here, so we're just going to find out when it comes up. So, I'll click OK here. Click on Help and About. It's still 119, so it's not the most recent version, but I'm sure once he bases it on 1204, which he's doing at this very moment, apparently, so he said, he'll have 2.0 in there, so that'd be nice. Back to our menu. Right. Sound and video are just done. Games. You just get two games. If you want more, install them yourself. The ISO to download is not very big, it's just over 700 I think, something like that. So it's an average size, I don't worry about it too much. Under accessories, you do get Brazero and Doki, as you can see on the left hand side there, I'll go into that in a bit in a minute. You get your Guac Terminal, help, take a screenshot, the terminal again, and a text editor, so that's okay. And as it's known too, you get the old fashioned home, desktop, documents, music, pictures, videos, downloads, computer, network, connector server, and recent documents. Okay. System, it's old gnome too, so you know what it's all about. It's all really familiar, and a lot of you will like it, really. And if it's going to keep up with the distribution, basing it on 12.04, and keeps it a, a sort of LTS, he's going to have a lot of people using it, isn't he, really? Because people like it. Under administration, you can put your extra drivers in, your login screen, software sources, Synaptic is here. I'll open up System Monitor for you, because it's really light on resources, as you can see. It's only using 157 meg of my RAM, none of my swap. CPU still asleep, so yeah, super duper. I like it. Right, just then, is that it? Well, no, of course not. If I go up to here, we get Slingshot. So remember, it's known too, but you also get da -da 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 -da. this is as well, okay? Which is very nice. So all your applications are all in one place. Now, some of you will like it and some of you won't. So it's up to you. You take your cup of tea and your drinks in. I'm glad he's put Descent OS back in the right hand side corner, not in the centre, because when you do open Slingshot, it doesn't actually interfere with it so much. Do you see what I mean? It was in the middle before and it was blocking out some of the icons, which wasn't very good, okay? So yeah. Oh yeah, anyway, in my docky bar, I've put a CPU and memory monitor, so that's nice. And the clock, so I know what time it is. Now, on the whole, I really like using it, and if you want a Debian stroke Ubuntu based distribution, this will be one alternative for you to have a look at and probably keep. Yeah. I'm going to rate it at 91%. Sneaky Linux out. I see you later. Bye-bye.